What's your mental like? You straight? I'm in my environment. You know, I'm always soaked up and adapt to it. So it ain't really nothing. It's really like a... This call is being recorded. It's like a little break from responsibility, honestly. Blueface's time in prison is not looking good. It has been reported that the rapper was allegedly jumped while incarcerated and is currently receiving medical attention for the injuries sustained. Whether he's out in the free world or behind bars, Blueface always finds a way to grab the headlines and get people talking. But what really happened to Blueface in jail? Be sure to stick around till the end for the full details. Blueface may have gotten away with punching people outside, but that cannot be said of his time behind bars. The gravity of the situation and the unclear information that has come to light have cast a long shadow over the rapper's future and sparked crucial discussions about safety and survival in the criminal justice system. But it doesn't stop there. It's looking like his prison time is going to be extended due to a violation he committed while incarcerated. Everybody went to go see Blueface go to court yesterday thinking he was going to get out, right? But Blueface don't look like he's getting out anytime soon. He facing two more years, y'all, in prison. And you know why? Because they did a search on his cell and they found a white powdery substance. And the white powdery substance, they tested it and it ended up being M-E-T-H. So he went in a weed head and he comes out an M-E-T-H head. Okay, he violated his probation. So honestly, y'all, they are, word on the street is, they're looking at giving him two more years because of that violation. Now, my question is, how the hell did he get that shit up in there? Nine times out of ten, allegedly, it's usually the guards. This is messed up on so many levels because your baby mama and your baby daddy is both locked up in jail. I wonder if they'll get to see each other, you know, maybe slide each other kites up under the door, you know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way, you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Blueface, who has been charged numerous times over the years and has mostly gotten off lightly, made headlines as usual when probation officers claimed that the rapper had broken one or more of the rules. The strict rules were part of the probation he received from his club, beat down assault cases a few years ago. On January 12th, 2024, a hearing was scheduled to discuss a probation violation in the LA beatdown assault case. It is unknown what specifically Blueface did to violate the probation, but it appears the rapper is not new to breaking the law. Blueface was being watched attentively, as seen by a video that went viral almost immediately after he left the courthouse. Blueface could be heard stating, I'm handling some mandatory issues, man. I'll see you on the other side. I told you I was coming here. Whack. Just fucking whack. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That whack. He's taking care what of it. Yeah, yeah, handling some um some mandatory issues, man. I see you on the other side. All right. Good Only a real player will go to jail looking like he's gonna go to the Himalayas. <laughs> hey, hey, good luck, man. Fans weren't sure what Blueface meant when he said he saw them on the other side, until rumors circulated that he might be inside for some time. Although sources revealed that Blueface had been taken into custody, he won't be able to use the internet to inform his supporters as he typically does anytime soon. Despite being incarcerated, Blueface maintains that he is happy and is taking advantage of his time away from the public to recover from his turbulent lifestyle. The rapper, who was sentenced to four years in prison for violating his probation, recently provided an update on his activities while incarcerated and revealed a rough release schedule. So I got sentenced to four years. In a phone conversation with DJ Head and Gina Views for their radio program, Effective Immediately, the California native discussed his legal circumstances. I got a year's credit, so that goes down to three years, and I gotta do 33% of that, so I'll be home probably like March, April 2025. When it comes to his pastimes while he's been behind the wall, Blueface claims that he's been wasting his time doing enjoyable things like eating snacks and watching TV. I be beating off, watching TV, eating Doritos, and using the phone, the Thoshiana rapper said. That's pretty much it. They only got like 12 channels. I've been watching a lot of the news, The Sherry Show and The Jennifer Hudson Show. In addition, Blueface mentioned that he had bulked up over the last few months due to his significant weight gain while inside. 
I'm chilling, man. I'm in my environment. It's like a little break from responsibility. I'm like 180 pounds right now. I've never been 180 before. I'm getting sized up. I'm about to bounce out looking like a Dalmatian. It's probable that Blueface won't be in the spotlight for a time, which could mean that his frequent tirades will be put on hold. However, there are plenty of associates nearby who are eager to vent for him, particularly his manager WAC 100. Despite being given a four-year sentence, WAC 100, his manager, explained that his actual term was closer to three years because of time previously spent and other considerations. Because of the credits he has accrued for time served, he believes Blueface will only need to spend nine to ten more months behind bars. All right, what's up, WAC 100? What's up, what's up, what's up, Woody? All right, so we just left out of court. Uh, yeah. The judge decided to violate Blueface's probation. Yeah. And said it, people are saying he's gonna have to do the full four years in prison. Right. Can you break it down to us? He got four years, 400 some days off. Come down to three years, he go to state, he do third time. He be home in nine, 10 months. All right, thank That's you so it. much, Wack. Let's go. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' thoughts on this situation? Do you think Blueface will get out early next year? Or is he bound to get into more trouble and serve the four years full? Comment down below. Although there's been talks that he's already violated his early release with his alleged fight that took place recently, with involved rival gang members, but it's all just speculation, so only time will tell what really happened. Blueface's mom Carlissa recently reacted to his four-year sentence and is hoping he'll get out early next year. Try this one more time. I want to get on here and thank everybody for all the love and all the support today. All the prayers, I've seen all the prayers and I thank y'all so much. I don't want y'all to think that God didn't show up today because he did. And if you was in the courtroom, you heard Jonathan take accountability. You, you heard Jonathan sound like Jonathan in his right frame of mind. Uh, we didn't get the verdict that we wanted today, but we got some closure. We got new beginnings and um, we're all hopeful for this to go by smooth and quickly. So thank you guys again for all the prayers and all the love and all the support. Only time will tell what's going to happen from this entire situation. Will he get out early or get himself in a deeper hole? We'll be sure to keep you updated on any new information that comes from it. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.